Red Dead Redemption 2 is arguably one of the most influential games of all time. It has one of the most memorable main characters. In this video, I'm going to tell you why this is one of the best, if not the best, game ever made. First, the story. Arthur is the main character. The game starts in the winter. Some of the gang members' men are missing. Dutch Vandalin is the leader of the Vandalin gang that Arthur is a part of. Through the blizzard, you find a building with the lights on. A perfect place to bring everybody from your gang. Dutch goes to the door and knocks. A person opens the door. All of a sudden, Micah, one of the gang members, realizes that there's a dead corpse hidden. So we shoot every person there. Maiko is dumb though, and while chasing a kidnapped person, accidentally burned down the house. This person is Sadie Adler, and the corpse was her dead husband. Once back at the camp, now with Sadie, Abigail Roberts asks Arthur to search for John, who's been missing for a while. So you climb up a mountain, and you see him injured. So you put him on your horse and kill some wolves that are chasing you. Next, you are getting ready to ambush the O'Driscolls, a rival gang, where you'll capture one of their members. Finally, at the end of this chapter, you rob a train and learn of an important guy called Leviticus Cornwall. Arthur and the gang then leave the camp and find a new location. And that's the end of the first chapter. The game has a total of six chapters and two prologues. The gameplay is pretty straightforward. You ride horses to travel across the map, you can use the train to, to fast travel too, but walking isn't really an option since the map is so big. Shooting in this game feels really good. I played on controller. It does have aim assist, but I believe you can turn this off if you really wanted to. This game has a good slash bad honor system. If you choose to do good things, some dialogue will be different than if you have bad honor. You need to take care of yourself and the horse. The horse has limited stamina and health as well as you. And there's another bar that shows how fast they regenerate. To bring it back up, you need to use provisions. You also have a Deadeye ability, which lets you slow down time and quickly shoot enemies. The game also has hand-to-hand -hand combat. You can punch, block, grapple, and when an enemy grabs you, you can break free. The game has numerous heists, and each one feels special. Next, if you commit crimes, you'll have a bounty in that area. You can pay off bounties in train stations. They can be found around the map. Horses are very important in this game. They're the main way to traverse the map, so you'll need a good one. The game has multiple stables where you can buy one. Next, the setting. The game is set in 1899. It has a massive map, which brings you many small towns, open fields, the woods, farms, and even a big city. This map has so much to explore and a ton of random encounters. As an example, around the map, you can find bodies left by a serial killer, and if you follow it, it will lead you to where he is. This massive open world game has so much to offer in just its map. Next up, for this part of the video, this is where I explain where it deserves to be in the tier list. First, this game is one of the most beautiful games I've ever played. The graphics are amazing, the story feels real, and the game makes us feel attached to Arthur. I really like how this game lets you choose between doing good and bad things. The guns in this game are customizable, which is a plus, and they feel very smooth to use. I really like how this game handles its open world, with random events always happening, and never gets boring. The game takes around 40 to 50 hours to beat. Personally, I would find this too long, but this game is so enjoyable that I actually think it's a positive. As you see in this comparison, it runs great on my RTX 3060 PC and also on PS5. For all these reasons, I'm going to put this game in S tier. Thanks for watching this game review. A playlist to other game reviews will be in the description. I'm doing this series with my friend Moonfinek, so you can check his channel too. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe. Also, I'm going to be streaming Saturday 8pm Eastern Time on Twitch if you want to hop in. The link will be in the description.